Almost 35 years ago, the city of Cape unveiled a new project, a major channel running through a vast swath of the city. This is the Walker Branch Channel, and has been helping stave off stormwater in Cape ever since. When waters aren't up and everything is as it should be, it can be hard to tell how integral this fixture is to the safety of our community. However, thanks to the recent flood season and flood protection coordinator Chris Walter, it has never been more clear why flood projects like these are so important. My name is Chris Walter uh, and I work for the Public Works Department as the Public Works Engineer. Uh, my responsibilities include supervising the water main replacement crew, uh, overseeing the maintenance and operation of the city's flood protection systems, and managing the sanitary sewer rehabilitation projects. So uh, the Walker Branch Channel is a series of improvements for nearly two miles of the Walker Branch Creek. Uh, there were four uh, improvement projects completed between 1995 and 1999, which included approximately 5,200 feet of concrete line channel. Uh, the Walker Branch Channel was constructed to provide protection from flood stages. This was in response to the flood of May in 1986, uh, which caused an estimated 50 million in damages and claimed the lives of two local residents. The Walker Branch is considered a major tributary to the Cape Lacroi Creek, which is where we're at today. A tributary can be thought of a lot like a limb on a branch. They are interconnected and all part of a larger system, which is typically referred to as a watershed. So the Walker Branch Channel improvements were part of a larger plan uh, that included improvements to the Cape Lacroi Channel, uh, as well as the construction of a detention reservoir. Phase one of the Walker Branch Channel included the construction of the 50-foot wide concrete channel, uh, which runs from Broadway South to the Cape LaCroix Channel, totaling over three quarters of a mile in length. The Water Resources Development Act of 1986 uh, was passed by Congress and provided federal funding for construction uh, of the overall project. As the local sponsor, the city's initial estimated cost was just over one and a half million dollars. This amounted to 5% of the total cost, uh, which was nearly 30 million. Uh, in addition to this, the city was responsible for providing land and easements required to build the channel. So my primary responsibility is to coordinate with the Public Works stormwater crew, um, any specific maintenance items that need to be addressed. Uh, in addition, um, any work that might require a permit, uh, I would be responsible for coordinating with the Army Corps of Engineers. Most of our maintenance efforts are spent on mowing uh, the section of the Walker Branch that is not part of the concrete channel. Uh, on occasion, sediment will build up in the concrete channel and we'll have to remove it. What would be affected most by the channel is the stage that the Mississippi River is already at, um, with Cape Lacroix being a tributary. Um, if the Mississippi River is up, that causes the Cape Lacroix Creek to back up. Um, and you know, that's where things become more of a concern on the flooding end of our normal operations. So as part of overseeing the flood protection system as a whole, there's a lot of unseen man hours that goes on behind the scene. Um, somebody uh, put it very well that uh, when stormwater is doing their job, nobody even knows that the stormwater exists. Um, so much of our utilities are uh, underground and out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Um, so, you know, when you see these things, uh, just be aware that there are hundreds if not thousands of hours that go into properly maintaining them, operating them, and keeping everything fully functional.